In this video, I'm going to show you what it's like to travel from London St. Pancras Station to Mar la Vallée at Disneyland Paris with standard premiere, with the Eurostar and all the perks and you can decide at the end of this video whether or not you think it's worth it. Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in London in front of St. Pancras Station about to go on the Eurostar off to Disneyland Paris. It's going to be a direct train straight from here to Mar la Vallée Station which is the station just outside Disneyland Paris and I'm going to be going by standard premiere so I thought I would film it, I would show you you know everything that is included if you're going standard premiere instead of just standard uh, so you can maybe decide at the end of this video if it's worth it or not. So I've been through security and through passport control and I'm on the other side just waiting for boarding to be announced. Um, the train should be leaving in like the next 35 minutes or so, so I presume boarding should start within the next 10 minutes or so, um, which is which is good. I'm excited to be on the train and, and actually sit down. St. Frankfurt station is busy today though, like it's extremely busy um, as you probably would have seen already. There's not a single seat available, every seat is taken, there's people just everywhere. Um, there's also other trains, of course, it's not just the one to Disneyland Paris, there are quite a few around the same time that go to Paris, so that's obviously why it's so busy, and also it's a Sunday today, uh, and tomorrow's a bank holiday Monday, so it makes sense that it's busy. I have to say, I'm pretty glad I'm doing standard premiere for this trip, though, because of the amount of people here, it's just going to make my life a little bit less stressful, uh, having that slightly more extra space in that carriage. Anyway, they've started boarding for one of the uh, first Paris trains, I think it's a 10 o'clock one, uh, and it's, it's madness, it's chaotic, everyone kind of rushing by, but I've finally managed to find a seat because loads of people, as I mentioned, would have been here for the Paris train, not necessarily for Disneyland's direct train, so I think the next five or ten minutes of waiting will be a little bit calmer and less busy until it's time for our train to be boarding as well. And sure enough, it's time to board our Eurostar to Disneyland, platform seven, I believe. So we've just started our journey towards this land Paris, as you probably can tell. We just left uh, St. Pancras Station. The journey from London to Marlavallee, Disneyland Paris direct train is normally about two and a half hours, roughly, give or take. It gets to Disneyland Paris at just before 2 p.m. Uh, France time. So yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty decent. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to worry about anything. And because it's a morning train as well, we are more than likely gonna get breakfast. Uh, that's one of the perks of doing standard premiere. You get some food included, not hot meals. Um, I'm gonna show you later on in the video what it's like if you travel you know, later in the day as well, because you're gonna get some kind of dinner, but it's still not gonna be hot food. But today, at the moment, it's gonna be breakfast. Whilst we wait for breakfast though, I thought I'd show you the leg room that the seats are at standard premiere give it's really good it's really really nice the chairs themselves the seats are very very comfortable as well but you can just see how comfortable the padding is for the back side of your seat and also you get a little reading lamp as well which you don't get if you're not standard premiere and as you can see despite it being a sunday today with the bank holiday coming up tomorrow and this train being generally quite busy the standard premiere carriages really aren't that busy at all that for me is a big perk in itself just knowing that more than likely it's going to be less crowded than the regular carriages of course there are also fewer seats in the uh, standard premiere carriages because the seats are a little bit wider my ears just popped we just come out of the tunnel but yeah the seats are wider um and so there's about three seats basically in each row if that makes sense 
and I personally as a solo traveler I really enjoy these solo single seats which just give me so much space. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Well, so this is just for the thank you. The coffee yeah, you have just the cup inside. Okay, thank you very much. And here's a little pan of chocolate. And voilà. Thank okay. you so much, thank you. So we've got our breakfast situation here. I'm gonna We'll show it to you in a second properly. So that little small bag was a pound chocolat, as the lovely staff member mentioned. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. And then in this bag, there seems to be loads of things. Let me just put it here so I can show it to you. Okay, so yogurt, a bottle of water, and I want to say apple juice. So there you go. This is everything. We've got the natural yogurt over here. It's a strawberry yogurt though, which I am definitely not a fan of. I just don't like strawberries. Fun fact about me, random fact about me. The apple juice is definitely my thing, so I'm gonna enjoy this for sure. Like I said, this is just a bottle of still water. It's quite a small bottle as well. But again, you know, appreciate it. It's nice and cold too. The main thing, of course, is the pan au chocolat over here. I wish they'd given us a croissant as well, or maybe they would give us like an option to choose between a croissant or a pan au chocolat. Because I definitely prefer croissants personally. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer, but I do enjoy a pound chocolate from time to time as well. So yeah, I'm going to taste this and let you know what it's like. Uh, coffee, coffee, yes. yes. Thank you. Would you like to put your cup on my shirt? What do you say about us? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, got myself a little coffee as well with some milk that I'm going to put in there in a second. I'm going to take my mask off now, obviously, because I'm about to eat. Um, yeah, so the options for hot drinks were either coffee, or tea. I don't drink tea, so coffee it is. I need to kind of wake up anyway. This is quite a big uh, pound of chocolate, actually. Quite big. This is actually really good. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. The French do pound of chocolate really well, and I'm presuming the Eurostar being connected to France probably has got these made from a really good place. I don't know. It tastes really nice. It might be just the fact that I haven't had a pound of chocolate in a long, long time. Like I said, normally I tend to go for a croissant. But this is definitely a really good pal chocolat, five out of four. They do give you some cutlery as well, by the way. So I'm using my spoon to mix my milk and the coffee. Um, yeah, this is the cutlery thing. EnviroWeb, environmentally friendly. Um, you get a fork, a knife, and a spoon, and a tissue, which I should probably get out. Oh, my ears are popping again just because we just came out of a tunnel. The coffee's not bad. It's not phenomenal by any means, but it's also not bad. It's, it's definitely drinkable. It's not the worst coffee I've had. It's something that I need, so I'm going to enjoy it. in a few seconds at Disneyland Paris. I know you're very excited and can't wait to start your holiday, but please take a moment to double check that you have all your luggage with you before you leave the train. We have just arrived to Mama Valley Station. It is exactly seven minutes to 2 p.m. French time. Here's one last look at the standard premier carriage. This is coach 12 that I'm in. I think they've got about maybe three or four coaches on every single Eurostar, um, depending on which one it is, to be honest. This was my seat over here. I am leaving this, no, I'm not taking this with me. Like I said, I'm not a fan of strawberry. Um, also, these do come out, by the way. I don't think I properly showed it to you, but if when you're sitting down, if you just want a bit more space on your table, you can definitely get that. But yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go and pick up my uh, suitcase. This is my bag. Suitcase should be on the other side. And we are gonna leave and go to Disneyland Paris. And we're off. That was our coach again, number 12. This is the way out at Merle Valley to go up the escalator and then, ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the station of Merle Valley Chessy. There you go, Merle Valley Chessy, Disneyland Paris. And 
I am officially in Disneyland Paris, the Disney Village is just over there. Literally when you come out of Malavella Station you can see Disney Village, it's within walking distance. Um, it's just amazing, I love how convenient it is. That's one of the reasons why I love getting the Eurostar more than any other way of transport to Disneyland Paris. Anyway, let's talk about Standard Premier because that's the main reason, that's the main point of this vlog. What did you think? You saw all the perks that we got from being in Standard Premier. Um, you know, do you think it's something that is worth it for you? Uh, I'd love to read your comments down below, but for me, I have to say uh, it depends. It depends. I very rarely uh, go standard premiere. Normally, I'm just happy with standard, but because I travel with Eurostar very, very often, I have loads of points. Like, I've got so many points. Honestly, I don't even know how to spend them sometimes because I just have too many. And every now and again, when I feel like it might be a busy day of traveling, like today, for instance, with a Sunday, um, or if I just feel like treating myself, I use my points to upgrade myself to Standard Premier. I've only ever paid Standard Premier maybe like once or twice and on those occasions it was because the difference between the Premier, Standard Premier and regular Standard was maybe like 10 or 20 pounds and I thought why not just treat myself because it wasn't that big of a jump. I personally wouldn't pay any more than 20, 30 pounds at a push to upgrade to Standard Premier because Standard on the Eurostar is just as good. Like you saw, the only kind of perks that you get with being Standard Premier Premier. apart from it obviously being like a slightly quieter carriage because of the fact that there are fewer seats in there which for me that's the main thing that I like about it there's not much more really you know you got you get your food which for breakfast it wasn't a lot like genuinely speaking I'd prefer to just get myself a croissant or something from Pret uh, at St. Pancras station because there's a Pret à Manger there because uh, I prefer their croissants there I can get myself like a coffee or hot chocolate from Pret as well which would taste nicer than what they offered me here I was also a little bit surprised as to how we were given the breakfast the continental breakfast you know in like packages it just didn't feel as I don't know as special as you would hope for it to be with it being called standard premiere uh, I was actually kind of surprised at it because um, last time I did this exact journey from St. Pancras Station directly to Disneyland Paris using Standard Premier was in 2011, so 11 years ago. And actually, I'm going to include a little bit of footage from it here because, believe it or not, I used to vlog back then as well. My vlogs were a lot different in how they are now. I'll leave a link to it as well if you want to. I was here for my 21st birthday. But anyway, in 2011, for the Standard Premier on the Eurostar Direct from London to Disneyland Paris, they gave you more, you know, they gave us uh, kind of unlimited pastries as far as I remember. You could choose a couple of things um, and also as you can see from the video here, it wasn't just in a package. You actually had like nice cups that you could pour, you know, your you know, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you wanted to in. And it just felt a bit more special than it felt today. And that's the problem with the direct train to Disneyland Paris because there's only one direct train every day and that's always a morning one. Um, if you upgrade to Standard Premier and you're leaving from London, than to Disneyland Paris, you're always going to get the same thing that I got today. You're going to get breakfast. I feel like if you do it for dinner or lunchtime, it might be a bit more special. So keep watching because I'm going to, you know, vlog my return to London as well. I'm standard premiere for that as well. And that's an evening train. It's a direct train. And so you'll see what, you know, what kind of food I get offered there. Again, don't expect anything exciting. I've done this journey a few times before the evening one. The food is a bit more exciting than what it was offered to us for the breakfast just because it's, you know, it's evening meal. So they're going to have to be a bit more creative with it but it's still not going to be anything that special in my opinion but we'll have another chat after my second journey so i'll see you then and just like that it's a few days later and unfortunately it's time for me to return back to the uk but here we are at marlavalle station again i've got all my bags packed and everything and yeah ready to go on the eurostar for the way back so you can see what the food's like what the experience is like on the way back it's basically going to be all the same apart from the food so i shall see you when i'm on the train I'm on the way back 
car on the train we've just started moving as well and they have actually already given us the food too so we're gonna go through it right now to see what they've given us and like I said it's probably not gonna be anything too exciting but a little bit better probably than what we got for breakfast on the way here so here we've got it we get a bottle of water again more or less the exact same as before I decided to go for an apple juice last time it was part of the breakfast meal this time I just asked for it you can get some wine as well though if you wish to which is quite nice a little cup there you go and then some cutlery oh that's the main meal over there but before we get to the main meal let's have a look at this what is this the Harrogate cake salted millionaire okay we're gonna have a look at that later on and this is the main meal so it's a pasta pasta salad it says pasta coated in a pesto dressing with parmesan shaving and mozzarella so let me just open this up okay that's not too bad just bear in mind that it's cold any meal that you're gonna get uh, when you travel to a standard premiere with the Eurostar is gonna be cold so yeah but it does look pretty good to be fair so I'm gonna enjoy that now and enjoy the view as well and I'll speak to you when I get back to London. Well, we have arrived. It is about 7.35 p.m. I just wanted to show you again the Eurostar standard premiere so you can get an idea. So I'm going to take my mask off actually because there's no one here now. But it's the exact same as what you would have seen earlier. And also one thing that I did forget to show you earlier, I don't think I remembered doing this on the way to Disneyland Paris, but you do also get plugs here. So if you want to charge your phone, so I was charging my phone on the journey back and that's how I remembered I forgot to show it to you. There's a USB one by your seat. They have a European one as well, just over there. And then actually on the other side, as you can see conveniently, there's even a UK one down there. So that's, again, I suppose one of the other perks of the seats here at Standard Premier, you know, being able to charge your phone so conveniently. But let's leave this uh, train now. I think we might be the last people on the train. I still need to get my uh, luggage as well, my suitcase. There you go, well, people have left rubbish here. There you go, my suitcase waiting here for me. But there we have it, you saw the journey standard premiere with the Eurostar from St. Franco station to Marla Valle de Land Paris and back and you can make up your own mind as to whether or not you think it's worth it I think it we, I don't think it is I think only ever do it you know personally in my opinion only ever upgrade to standard premiere if the price difference isn't too much more so maybe if it's only like another five ten pounds even 20 pounds at a first sure pay that and enjoy the slightly comfier seats and slightly quieter carriages as well if you wish to otherwise i think the normal carriages the regular standard seats for eurostar are just as good they're just as comfortable to be honest you don't get any food and you know the seats might be a little bit different but it's not that much of a difference i myself as somebody who comes to Disneyland paris a lot and uses a eurostar a lot i only ever you know use the standard premiere if I have enough points and sometimes like I said if it's a busy day and I know that's gonna be busy and I, I want some more space I might upgrade it um, otherwise yeah I normally just do it with the normal seats I did want to give a quick shout out to the lovely family that I was sat next to on the journey back I had so many fun chats with them that's kind of why I didn't really vlog too much and I showed you the food and by the way let me actually talk about the food first before I give the shout out the food on the way back was good so the pasta salad it was all right it wasn't too bad like I said it's cold but it was, you know, eatable. Um, I ate it because I was hungry. I hadn't had any dinner. And then, uh, yeah, that uh, dessert actually, the shortbread thing, that was surprisingly good. I didn't expect to enjoy it, but as you can see on my face there, I took a bite and I was like, Lord have mercy, that's actually a pretty nice little biscuit thing. So that was nice. But again, it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the exact same meal. You're gonna get something similar. I've been on the Eurostar before, standard premiere, where I've been given like a uh, chicken kind of meal, cold chicken, but not a salad, like chicken with some maybe vegetables around it again all of it cold uh, with a different kind of dessert so it's not guaranteed you can get different things and also you don't get um sorry i'm gonna take the mask off a bit you don't get kids meals either so if you've got children and that actually goes back to the family next to me the meal for them is going to be the exact same as adults uh, will get on the standard premiere hey, <laughs> thank you just, just finishing the vlog 
What's your name? Michelle. Well, that was really fun. I met a couple of lovely viewers, Michelle and Naomi. It was Naomi's birthday as well. They were staying at the uh, New York Hotel Art of Marvel, and I ended up chatting to them on the way out of Passport Control. So, yeah, awesome Disney fans. Really cool to speak to them a little bit. And whilst I'm here, I also wanted to give a shout out to the family that I was sat next to, like I said, on the train. So, Simon, Joe, Megan, and Millie. Um, Megan and Millie are their children, the girls. And then Simon and Joe, I spoke to them quite a bit as well. They had a, they were, they were understandably quite tired being the parents and they were like we're so happy that you know the holiday's over the kids had a good time but we just want a rest like a holiday from a holiday if that makes sense so big shout out to you as well if you end up watching this Simon and Joe and the kids thank you for making my journey on the Eurostar bag a lot more fun as well we ended up chatting a lot and that is it that is the end of this video as you can see I'm back at St Pancras station in London I'm gonna go home now and sleep I'm really really tired but let me know in the comments down below what you think have you ever done the journey standard premiere with the Eurostar would you consider doing it I'd love to hear your thoughts make sure you subscribe for more videos like this let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to do in the future follow me on instagram and i will see you in the next one bye